world's worst intro. Here we go. Hello, darlings, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Raven. I get distracted very easily, and I like to play with makeup. Today, like I said, this is probably the world's worst intro. I look not very much like I did in the actual video that you're going to watch today because I forgot to film it. So I went through my entire day. Now I'm home, got my pajamas on, no bra on, phony pony is out, hair is not what it once was this morning. But anyways, today we are doing a bought it and forgot it video. I'm starting this series because when I was first kind of dreaming up the idea of starting a YouTube channel, I started collecting things here and there. And then I started my channel and had all these other ideas of things that I wanted to do that some of those things kind of got forgotten about. So I thought I would take this opportunity to say, hey, here are some things that I've bought in the past that I have forgotten to talk about on my channel and now I'm going to. So today's Bought It and Forgot It is a palette by Lorac. It is their Dance Till Dawn palette. That's what it looks like there. If you would like to see what I think of this palette and watch me slap it on my face, keep in mind this is many hours old now that I'm, now as I'm filming. Please do stay tuned. Ignore the lousy intro. <sighs> Nothing has gone right this morning, but we are gonna get in to this because I got things to do today. First off, let me apologize about the fact that we are kind of traveling back in time and I'm using my old camera because I did not prepare and the battery to my new amazing camera is dead. So this is what we're going with. Bear with me. So like I said in the intro, we are uh, having an itchy eyeball moment. We are doing a bought it then forgot it palette. We are Looking at the Lorac Los Angeles, this is the Dance Till Dawn Eye Cheek Palette. Here we have two blushes. We've got some shimmer shades. That's a shimmer shade. And then we've got, I believe, these, mm, these two are matte. And that one's a satin. So that is what that looks like. We're gonna play with this. You know I love eye and face palettes, so of course I had to get this one. But it is on sale right now at Ulta for $10 down from 19. So even though it's not brand new, let's see if it's any good and then maybe you can get it on sale. I have, as usual, my face is primed, foundation, concealer, first layer of powder. Let's go in, let's get the show on the road. Just going in with a bigger, kind of dirtyish brush. We are gonna go in with this one here. These guys don't have names, so I'm just gonna have to point. And for this one, we are just going all, oh, go all over the lid. So I think in hindsight, if I were reaching for this palette, I would probably take my face powder and use that to set all over the eyes. And then I probably could have used this shadow that I just put on as more of a transition color. I'm going to go in with this one here for a crease color. So this is blending very good. I like the subtle gradient in color that is happening. I do feel like there's not a very deep nice crease color that is matte. There are two other colors that are a little deeper, but they are pretty shimmery or metallic-y. We will see what kind of finish they have here in a second. So there we go. Um, because I want this my brow bone to be a little brighter. I'm gonna use this shimmery one here. I like that, I like that a lot. 
Let's try out some shimmer shades. Let's see, we are gonna use this one here. It's kind of a purple-ish color. And because I really want to see how these perform, I'm gonna do a kind of halo e eye, which is not something I do a lot or am very good at, so bear with me. I like the consistency of this. We're just going around the outer edge here. There is like no fallout or hardly even any kickback. I am really impressed with the consistency. Of and we're gonna go back again into this one here and put that on the middle of the lid. Woo! Oh boy, that's pretty. Look at how, oh, I bet if you wet this, you could get this seriously foiled. Man, that's pretty. I'm gonna take that same brush. Oh, I guess I did. I got a tiny little bit of fallout there. No biggie. Mix those together a little bit. I like it. The only part I'm not liking is I don't really have like something to deepen up my crease. I have a hundred errands to run, so let's live on the edge and do a shimmer in the crease because that sounds like a good choice. So let's live on the edge and try this darker one here in the crease. If anything, I will pull a shadow from another palette to fix it if it needs it. Okay, yeah, I just can't do it. I can't do a shimmer in the crease. It's just, it's just not in me, I just can't do it. Okay. So we're just gonna stay with the Lorac and I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Pro Matte and we will go in with the chocolate color here. I think we'll be a little bit happier. <sighs> the shimmer is still showing, but that's okay. You know what, It's we're just gonna be like, hey, we meant to do that. Ooh, two completely different shaped eyes. It happens to the best of us, but we'll fix it. Hang in there. In all that blending, I feel like we lost some color. It happens. So we're gonna go back into that purplish shimmer color. Kind of re-intensify it a little bit and we will bring that just slightly under the eyes. I'm going to go back into my Lorac Pro Matte and pick up Linen, which is the matte white. You know, I just can't, I can't stay away from the matte white. It's just not in me. So I really like the colors in this Dance Till Dawn palette, um, but I think they would make some really good um, like supplemental colors, like these two are working really well together. Or if you were just doing a one or two shadow look, I think you could get some really, really great looks out of it. I, of course, was putting them all on my eyes because I wanted to try them all out, which sometimes is not the best idea. You know, you put 50 shades on your eyes and they tend to all get lost in, transla in translation. Back in just a minute with eyeliner, mascara, lashes. Stay tuned. Alrighty, we are back with mascara and what is that called? Eyeliner, whatever. Let's get back and finish up with this palette. I will again Look at the camera. Go in with this lighter color here and use that on the inner corners of my eyes. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I think that's pretty. Excellent. 
We are going to go into this pinky blush here. There is no contour color, as you can see. That's okay. You know what? Not every day do you need a blush and a contour. There is definitely some pigment there, so I'm going slow. I'll say trying to get a brush in here, like a, a bigger blush brush. Got to be a little careful. Ooh, is that blush right up my alley. It is not a matte blush. It definitely has some shimmer to it, which I absolutely love in the summertime. In the summertime, which is coming up. Which the weather where I am right now is reminiscent of normal summer weather where I'm from. It's been in the 60s and 70s and I mean, that's summer weather as far as I'm concerned. Excellent. I'm gonna take a little bit smaller of a brush and go into this peachy color, which is really, really shimmery. I'm gonna kind of use it as a blush topper-ish. Not quite where a highlighter would go, but the top of the blush area. Pretty, 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 pretty. We will again go into that color that I used on my inner corner and my brow bone. And just put that right up there. And there we go. And call it good. I'm going to go into my e.l.f. powder like I usually do. It is the color, cool color correct one. Use that to blend everything together. And there you have it. That it look was using the Lorac Dance Till Dawn palette. Again, it is on sale right now for 10 instead of 19. My thoughts on it, hmm, hmm. Let's, let, let's go with the pros. The quality of the eyeshadows themselves are really great. I love the sheen on these shimmery ones. The matte ones are very, very blendable. I really enjoy the color of both of these blush colors. They mix really well. So I, I'm happy with what is in here. This is, it's, it's good. The cons for me is what's not in here. I don't have a really good brow bone highlighter in my opinion. You know, I prefer white, but I'll go with like a light cream color for that brow bone. And I just don't have it. This one's not cutting it. Also, like you saw, I don't have a crease color to really deepen up the crease that is a matte. So that is kind of a bummer. It was very easy to go in with another supplemental palette, this other Lorac Pro Matte, love, love, love. So the two really worked well together. So, I mean, is it a bad palette? No, but it is a little bit lacking. I don't think it is something that is an absolute must have necessity in your collection. But if these colors do speak to you and you are really aware of what is in here and go into it with, an, you know, knowing, being well informed, then go right ahead. It's only $10. And again, the quality, it is Lorac, is great, great, great quality. I need some lipstick. Just a second. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that this was a smart idea. I don't know if this is a color I can pull off. Can you believe it? I'm not wearing red lips. What do we think of this color? This I got in the Ips, in my last Ipsy bag. It is Tartist, Tart, Tartist Lip Paint in the color Rose. I could use some help. I'm trying to, because of a job situation, not go with red 100% of the time. And I'm really weirded out and nervous about this whole like not red lipstick thing. What do you guys think? Tell me the truth. Even if this one isn't your favorite on me, I would like to hear that as long as you're nice about it and, you know, not mean, just say like, uh, don't think so, you know? And if, especially if you don't think this is a great color on me, give me a suggestion. What are your favorite color lipsticks that aren't red? Cause I really truly could use a little bit of help in this department. So anyways, enough rambling. Here is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for my first bought it and forgot it tutorial, or not tutorial, review. 
uh, just video. I don't know what. My brain is, my brain's not working today. Could you tell? Cool part is I'm going to do a vlog all day today while my brain's not working. So, you know, it's going to be a fun day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I'd really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you're so inclined. And hey, before you go, why don't you check out some of my other videos. I'll have them posted right around here somewhere. Check them out. And until next time, love you. Bye-bye.